So the next thing that we're going to discuss is some clothing options for the Bahamas. You don't need to overpack for travel through the Bahamas. It's going to be very warm generally, and you're going to want to make sure that you can uh, take as little as you absolutely have to so that you can these a lot of the outer island planes are very small and so you want to make sure that you can pretty much fit everything in one bag so as far as that goes uh, we can start with hats so I prefer to have a dark bill on the bottom side of the hat. This is going to help keep light from reflecting on a lighter surface on your hat. Um, you want your sunglasses to rest right up against it to maximize um, the coverage so that you can cut down on any of the glare that you may have. And speaking of glasses, we want to make sure that this is something that you actually take you know, into consideration as an investment. Good glass is really hard to beat as we are doing a very specific sight casting trips whenever we go saltwater fly fishing. I like a wraparound, you know, Costa Smith, it doesn't matter what brand you have. Um, make sure that you do have real glass and make sure that you're gonna have more of a copper or brown lens to be able to see those fish. You can also do a low light lens if you wanna take a second pair of sunglasses. Take a low light lens, which is more of a yellow hue that can help you if it is a little bit cloudy. So I do like a long sleeve shirt for both sun exposure as well as if the bugs are problematic, it does alleviate a little bit of the, how much skin is exposed out there. So a button down breathable shirt, uh, doesn't matter, you know, Sims, Orvis, they, there's a million brands out there now, um, but a really nice breathable shirt will go a long way. I myself tend to use these sun hoodies that have a little bit of sun protection for the back of your neck and ears as well. Um, I tend to forget about putting sunscreen on my ears and have been very burnt several times. These certainly do help and they're very breathable, they're very light and don't take up much space when it's packing. I get a lot of questions about what kind of shorts and pants to wear. Any sort of trekking pant will do. Um, I personally tend to still wear a pant as well uh, versus shorts. Um, that's due to, again, keeping sun exposure down and also for the bugs itself. Um, so you can certainly see what we have in the background here. Patagonia makes a really nice tracking pant that will do just fine. It's quick drying and very breathable. Um, you know, I tend to take maybe three pairs of pants while I go. Uh, most of the lodges that you'll go to will have laundry service and keeps you from overpacking while you're there. The next thing that we want to make sure to have is a rain jacket. Um, if you're there in the winter, um, it can still be in the high 70s and a rainstorm come in, it could get down to the high 60s, which sounds great if you're coming from Bozeman, but it is chilly when driving in a boat. Um, lightweight, you don't need anything major, just a, a lightweight, packable rain jacket will be just fine. 